G'day, welcome back. Today we're looking at that footage that you could download through one of my videos a couple of videos ago. And we're looking at the edit for it. So we're gonna do the editing and then we're gonna work on the sound. Now I actually wanted to do one for a color grade, but unfortunately I deleted all the footage because that's what I kind of do sometimes. So today we'll look at the edit and then we'll do some sound and then um, yeah, basically we'll maybe do some exporting later on. But first things first is I have my footage here. And one thing we need to know is that this footage has already been graded. Now it's not the most exciting grade in the world, but because it's been graded, we actually need to take off that color management. So what I've done is I've gone to my color management and I've just done for color science, DaVinci YRGB. And then here is the other settings here. That way we're not putting another grade on top of our already graded footage. So, you know, otherwise we're going to get a very contrasty and very, very ugly footage. Okay. So I've made a new project. Now my project settings are actually first things first. This footage is 50 frames per second because it was a really bright day, except for this part here. I mean, that's okay. So in my settings, we're going to be in 25 frames per second, uh, 40, 90, 2160 for a ratio because that's what the footage was shot at. And you know, everything else is pretty normal. So let's jump into it. So in our master, we're gonna make a new bin. I right click, new bin, call it CU for close up. We have all these shots here. So these are the initial shots of this guy before he walks up to our little river here. Now again, highlight the master. Now make sure you're highlighting the master and not the CU, otherwise you're gonna make a folder within that CU. So in your master, Right click, new bin, and we'll call it POV. He's POV, obviously, when he's looking at this abandoned spooky factory. Okay, put that in. Now we have the, the wide of him coming down. So again, in a master, right click, new bin, wide. Uh, what are these shots? These shots here. Like that in. And then we have. A POV of him is, I guess not a POV. We have a shot of him <laughs> getting the water. So again, highlight master. And you know, this is all pretty straightforward stuff. And then we have like a shot of him looking. It's like a mid, I would say. Yep. So we can make a, another video. Why is this like this? Oh, I put it in the wrong spot. See, this is what happens. So when a master, just go back, drag it in. There we go. Fix that problem, which is nice. So we'll do a mid. Uh, that's the close up. So don't worry about that. Now, if you're wondering about this footage, I shot this, or well, my friend shot this for me. Um, call the CUV River. Um, one morning, we decided to go down and film it. It was really bright in the morning. This is why this was. No, it was really dark in the morning because this was sunrise so this was in the morning um and it was okay it wasn't super bright but then once we got down to the river it was really bright so we had to change the um frame rate to 50 frames per second obviously okay now in our edit let's start building this scene so the way i like to build a scene um i don't really worry about what shot to use first as in the best take i kind of just chuck in a lot of the takes and then i i go from there and then i'll go back and try and get the best one so i'm a bit hung over today i was going to record this yesterday but i was <laughs> lying on my couch for most of the day Alrighty. so now the first shot well okay let's talk about the script so in the most basic terms possible the script is a guy in obviously a dystopian world obviously the world is polluted he's going to go collect some water samples and he's going to take it back all right so the initial shot is him coming to the river looking at this building then he goes down collects the water looks around writes some notes walks off so we need to establish a few things we need to establish what this building means as in um, we need his point of view looking at it so if you want something to be of interest or you want to point something out to the audience, obviously you would cut to that scene. Otherwise, it's a guy walking down to the river. 
So we're going to start with our close up. Now let's just pick the best looking one. I'm going to say. Um, now I'd normally also use two monitors, but if I use two monitors, then you don't really see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do one. But if we were to do two, it would look more something like this, which is really cool. So then we could, you know, like have the footage here and then have, we'd have a lot more space here. Maybe we'll just leave it actually. But then you don't get that recording. So we'll go back to one. But it is handy having two monitors. Okay, so let's say you want this one here. This is a good shot, okay? So we'll just chuck this in the timeline. And there's a gap. Just press delete. And we'll play back. Now, there is no audio at the moment. We're going to be putting that in. Okay, so this is our opening shot. He's looking. Now, what is he looking at? That's when our POV comes into play. So we have a shot here, which is out of focus in the background, and he's in focus. Now, because we've already established him looking at something, it's more interesting to show what he's looking at. And then maybe on we can cut to him walking away, and then he's in focus. So let's just get a shot. It's a bit weird. We'll save this shot here, and we'll just chuck it in. It's a very long shot. Why is that so long? Let's do this shot here then. And let's go to Jewel. So we'll find a spot that's interesting enough. And we're going to make a point, so I'm going to press I. And then we'll go about, let's say, here. Then I'm going to drag this clip into here and I'm going to go overwrite. That means it's going to copy over that footage in the timeline. Okay. Because we've made an in and out point in here, that's how much footage we're going to use from this clip into this timeline. Now we'll do some different cuts later on, but that's just our initial cut. So it looks, point of view, looks back. Now that's a bit too short for me. So what we can do, make it a little bit longer. I'm just going to move this across. Move it plays back. That's a good amount of time. Okay, bring it back. Your first edit of your footage is always going to be the roughest. It's not about getting everything perfect, which is called like, you know, micro editing, or um, there's another word for it. But what we want to do first is we just want to build out our scene and then we go back and we do more cuts and tighten it. First, Draft is really loose. It doesn't matter. It's more about just getting your footage into that timeline. Delicious water. Okay. So, looking at the house, established house, walks off. Now, if we wanted to, we could cut to this shot here where he walks off, right? But is that exciting? Not really. So he walks and we'll say here is a good cutting point. It's always good to cut on action. So movement in your scene and then cut into action as in more movement in the other scene. So let's just look at some shots. So he doesn't, it comes in the wide here. I think the later ones look a bit better, but we need the guy coming into the shot. So this is a pretty good one or maybe this one. Let's have a look. So he's not actually grabbing the water in this shot. It's quite quick. Uh, what's this one? Now, if you haven't already, you can download the footage. Uh, I'll leave a link below. The footage is free, so, you know. So it's a bit weird. The camera seems to be moving a little bit, so let's not do that one. And this one, we're losing a lot of space here, but we don't like that. Um, I reckon 
this one is probably the best, even though um, we stopped too early. I think the camera ran out, but um, I feel like this one's the best. So, box off. Now, let's say we're going to cut here. So, I'm going to do a point in my edit, in my timeline. So, pressing I for an in point. Now, I'm going to cut to, let's say, here. And then when he goes down, I think here is a good spot. So I've made it in and out point, and then I'm going to drag it into my timeline. So holding your left mouse button, put it in, and we'll go over it. Now, if I were to do insert, I'm going to go on top. So, oh, it didn't go on top. Oh, yeah. If you wanted to go on top, Control-Z, you would highlight the video track that you want to do. So as you can see, this little square, that's telling us that's where that footage is going to go in your timeline. Okay, so if I would go to insert, it goes on top, plus it puts, sorry, plus it pushes back that end of the footage. So because we're doing our cut right here, this end is going to be behind that footage we're going to put in. Okay, so let's just override it. So now we have our footage on top of that other footage and it's gone on top of this part here. So it's set instead of this little part going at the back, it goes on top. So let's just play it back real quick. He walks down, looks around. Now when he walks down and sits down, I feel like we should cut to, let's say, a mid shot. Him um, going in, quite good. Do I like this? Not the best framing in the world. Um, let's have a look. Can't use that shot. What else we got? Nope. Maybe something like this. It's quite good. Loud truck in the background. I mean. In real life, not on this. Which uh, that's just looking around. That's a bit weird. I think this is probably the best one. So let's say practice down here. Now we don't really want to start with his head out. Maybe here. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put an in point there. So let's say hereish. Okay. And I'm just going to drag this. Actually, I know what the whole scene. So I want to get to the next shot. Um, where do I want to cut to? Because it'd be nice to have him sit down and then look around for a little bit. Let's <laughs> press it in the background. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's okay. You know, end of the world, but a uh, guy just walking around Sunday morning on his bike. So what we're going to do is he goes down, looks, let's cut. So press O. So it's going to be this part of footage. It's going to drag it in, overwrite. It'll play back. Looks around. Actually, you know, I don't want this part. Delete. Then we might be able to. Do we want to do a close up? Do we have for a close up? I feel like we could use this close up later on. Moment we don't need to. Looks around. Then let's cut to. Go back to our wide. And uh, of him getting water. So he's looking around. So as you can see, our eye lines match quite nicely. So then we can go eye. It's the water. Looks at the water for a very long time, for some reason. Mm. I don't like that that much. Let's have a look. 
Let's see this camera movement. So he sits down, looks, goes into the bag, bird in the background. I feel like we could sort of, um, <laughs> the oxygen mask, I actually couldn't breathe in it properly, which is insane. Okay, so he looks, so we'll say here, looks at the bottle, and then when he goes down, I feel like then we can cut into that close-up of the bottle, so I'm just going to chuck this in, and I'm going to write it once again. Let's just play back real quick. Looks. Walks off. Sits down. Gets the bottle out. Then we cut. Okay. So, and then we can go to a close up of the water, which I have named as water. It looks around. Opens the bottle, looks at the bottle, goes down again in motion. So let's look at our water shots. For the moment, I'm kind of just looking for the best angle. I'm not really looking for the best take. That angle's a bit weird. This is, looks better. Um, of course, you can use any shot you guys want. It doesn't you have to do what I'm doing. So let's say in motion here. Water goes in. Quite long. Mm, maybe that's too long. Let's play it back real quick. Oh, oh wait, here we go. Ah, what's he doing? Just pick up the water, mate. I think I'm speeding it up then. Is that fast enough? It seems excessively fast for some reason. All right, I reckon the, um, this one's probably best. It's not fantastic, but we could probably cut around it. Why is my footage playing back so fast? This looks all normal. Yeah, anyway. Let's just cut to, like, even here. Let's get to the water. Water, 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 water. This is bringing it up. I feel like that's a good cutting point. So, again, you don't actually have to drag it into the second screen. You could just simply just drag it down here if you want. That's a nice cut. Okay. Um, yeah, and again, like, we're not trying to make it perfect at the start. We are just getting the edit together. All right, so we can't use that because... Um, it doesn't actually do the water thing. Here we go. Um, to get rid of an in and out point, all you have to do is press Alt X, or you go up to timeline. And I think it's. To be honest, I don't really know because I always use um, shortcut keys. So for me, it's Alt X. I'm not sure what it is on a Mac. So it gets the water out. Maybe you could extend this slightly longer. So then we're like, he has uh, his hand in motion. So it's going up. And then we'll cut to bottle coming up. Looks at it inquisitively. Puts the lid on. I think we could probably play this scene out. When he looks, we could probably cut back to the wide um, just to show his overall surroundings. So I feel like that'll be a good place to cut. So maybe looks at the water. Yep, 
yeah, when he looks up, I feel like that is a nice cut. So again, you know what? I'm going to go to this first video track here. Bring this one down a bit. Cool. So let's just chuck this bad boy in. Play it back. That felt a little bit weird, but that's okay. Let's go back to the wide. Da -da. Again, Alt X, get rid of the edit point. It's not going to work. No work. Um, looks at the water. Drop the uh, pen, <laughs> the pen then. That's no, not going to work. Oh, we have a big shift in brightness. We'll avoid that shot. We needed him to get the book out. Um. And do some writing. So he puts the. I do not have that shot. Okay. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay, so. Looks at the bottle. Puts it down. Looks into the bag. I think there's a good point to cut. Okay, writes down, writes down, puts it back in the bag, looks. I think when we get to this point here of him looking, I reckon that is a good point. Go into that really weird looking close up. Let's chuck this in and let's have a look at our scene. It doesn't really work, but that's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't work because it's a close up to wide. Doesn't work because the it looks like the chosen wrong take. But that's okay. You can always replace that one. See what he does. Looks. Well, it's kind of like um he's having one last look. Yep. So we'll go into the see you river, close up river. It's a good one. Not that one. <laughs> Looking directly at camera. So what do we finish on? Let's have a look. Probably here. So maybe here is pretty good. I'll just drag this in, see what it looks like. And then I think we'll go to a mid and then to a wide. Go back to the starter clip, just press home on your keyboard. Pigeon in the background, chilling out. Walks off. We cut earlier there, it feels like it's a little bit long. Checking out the bottle, exciting stuff. Do I have a close up of that shot? Anyway. Looks the bottle. Probably do have a close up. I mean, we have a close up there. It's out the book. That's some writing. Now, I thought I had a close up of the writing, but maybe I don't. Puts the book in, looks around. This is all pretty good. Okay. And then we would go back into either the wide, him walking out of the frame, or maybe we go to mid into wide. That seems a little bit too cutty. I'm not I feel like uh, people cut so much in modern day films. It's amazing. But he does put the the book back in, but I guess we already established that. You don't need to do that. This is quite a nice shot. So I feel like here maybe. Let's say here. He gets up. 
Oh, but he's got the book in his hand. It's annoying. So maybe here. Gets up, and then we go to a wide. Again, maybe it's too cutty. Yeah, I feel like that's too many cuts for me. Let's go back to the wide. And let's see. Just try to find one that's at the end. Obviously, me dying of oxygen, or lack of, is not the end. Um, I have the book in my hand. Why do I have the book in my hand? Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully we have one where the book is not in my hand. Here we go. This is nice. Again, cutting on action. We'll say here-ish. Uh, it's up. Ignore the person in the background. So let's find a good point. Tens. Chuck it in. <laughs> Runner in the background. Maybe it's like here is a good cutting point. Let's see what it looks like. Now, I know it looks pretty bad so far, but once we get some sound in, it sounds a lot better. Or be a lot better. Looks a bottle, puts it in the water. It's a nice looking shot. Pulls it up. You could probably hold on the shot of the bottle in the water for a little bit longer. Gets the book out. Uh, I probably should have done a POV on the day of the house. But yeah, it's okay. Book back in bag. Quick look. Gets up, walks off. It's all pretty standard. Um, you know. But let's start building out this scene. So how do we want to start the film? Well, we're gonna press Alt A. Alt A. Control A. And I'm gonna move everything slightly across. And we're gonna start in complete blackness. And I'm gonna start at I'm gonna say three seconds, okay? So in this first three seconds, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some audio and I'm gonna do the mask breathing. So I'm gonna to go to Fairlight and this is where I have all my sounds saved. Now I'll have to make another video on how to do this, but essentially what you can do is build out a sound library in Resolve um, <clears throat> and you just look for it. Then you have all these audio saved. So Obviously I've done short films and you know that kind of things in the past. So I have an extensive list of sounds and I'm like building at it all the time. I'm actually making another short film. So what you can do is just go up to here. So click this little button here. Now Fairlight Sound Library, it's actually in my sounds. So I've made a different project. And let's go search and I'm gonna type in mask. So this stuff here, some of it's from free sound, some of it's stuff I've recorded myself. That's not what I'm looking for. Pretty good. Nice we got. Slow. Not that. This sounds cool. So I'm gonna chuck it in. So if you've never used Fairlight before. Very simple. So here you just have your audio track. You don't have your video tracks, but your video is up here. So if I were to play this through and uh, there we go. Make this a bit smaller. And let's go back to the start and we're gonna put in this one because it sounds cool. So um, let's just put it into track one. Keep it real simple. And I'm going to rename this instead of audio one. We're going to call it mask breathing. Get rid of one. 
we play this back? Cool. Now we can go to the edit. Sorry about that. Go to the edit. And when you add that audio into Fairlight, it adds it into your edit, which is good. So when it's the second breath, I feel like that is a good time to bring our video in. So I'm going to press control A and then I'm going to lock the audio and then I'm just going to move it across. It's a bit weird. It might even be further across. So once we go into that wide and he goes down, I feel like the mask breathing could lower a lot more. But for our initial audio, what I'm more looking for is Oh shit. Is basically just getting that audio in, then going over and shortening a ring down. So we're going to leave this as is. Now, looking at this edit straight away, I can already see that that initial shot is way too quick. So let's just. make it longer. Oops. We'll say about here. Looks good. Um, it looks like I'm about to move, which is slightly annoying. So we can just bring this across a little bit. Okay. So. Good, good. Now let's do some footsteps. Again, back to Fairlight. So we're going to type in... Just type in foot. The only problem with the sound library is you have to um, be very accurate with what you write. If if you write something that's um, too descriptive, it won't show up. So it's easy just to really dumb it down, basically. But let's see what this sound looks like. It's not going to work. Footsteps dirt. Pretty good. So what do we got here? That back. I hurt my back the other day. It's not good. Okay, so a couple of steps and then onto the rocks. So we could probably go maybe that one, not that one. Definitely not that one. So I'm going to say either Bad. That one's better. We'll just put this one in for now and we're going to change this to footsteps. So let's look at which. So that's when he starts walking, bring our footsteps in, and let's make this bigger, so then we can see where that audio is, so right here, and then go to the edit, I prefer to do this in the edit page when it comes to cutting. So basically it's like, that's one step, so if we go to here, there's a step there, I would say. 
That's, that seems good. And then we need another step there. So I'm going to press B. So I can cut Bring this back a little bit. And then as you can see, we are wrong. So there is the next footstep. Now, if you want to move your audio or video track slightly over, use the arrow keys, your keyboard, not these, I guess you can't see that. Uh, the arrow keys on your um, letters, not the arrow, arrow keys. That makes no sense. This actually might work. Yep. And then it's kind of like a little, all seems quite good. Let's just cut the rest of this for now. Let's play this back. And again, it's just about doing a rough edit for the start, and then you would go over it. Okay. Um, obviously, we have too many footsteps at the end. So we can sort of get rid of this end part. This is weird. I don't think we need this end one, maybe. Hmm. Maybe we just need to make this a little bit quieter. Okay. Goes into the bag. Um, let's see if I have one for bag. So I'm just going to type in bag. Backpack, boogage, rummage. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. It looks around, looks around. Then goes to the bag. So I'm going to put an M. I'm going to mark this spot. Does that not work? Doesn't matter. So let's have a look. Okay, so I'm going to put O. Endpoint. So we want to be here ish. Then we can sort of cut because. Okay, good. What other sounds do we have? Well, we have kind of a glassy sound. We also want to make it out that there's some stuff in his bag. That's it. Um, that's not bad. It's not bad. Um, we can chuck this in and then what we can do is just actually make it really quiet. So we'll put it on a second track. I know it sounds a bit weird, but okay. Now. He actually opens up the lid. Boop. So we need lid. Gun pistol slide across. So that's probably not what we need. <laughs> um, maybe that one. I don't mind that one. A toilet seat? That's too comical. I don't mind this one because it, it kind of sounds like the lid is on really tight. So let's just chuck it in and see how it sounds. What about here ish? We seem off. It's more like here, I would say. Oops. Okay. Oh, what happened there? Let's do water.
or Wasser, as the Germans say, or Agua, as the, the Spanish people say. That's <laughs> really right. So we need like a sound where the bottle hits the water. Oh, it needs to be light. We don't want to be a massive splash. So. That's a nice sound for the water running in. I think this one's quite good. Sounds nice. I think this one came free with Resolve. Also with, um, move this down, make a new one. We'll call it water. Uh, with the sound library, it actually comes with a lot of good free sounds. So let's look at the spot. Add there. It's bigger. Now this is really quiet, so I'm just going to bring it right up and we can dumb it down later. Yeah. Um. Need sort of um. Would that work? I'm just trying to think of something we can use, like uh. Water filling it. Hmm. Yeah. That seems good. Nice and light. Down here a little bit. Let's have a look. Okay, cool. So, again, I'm just going to bring this down. Once he brings it out of the water, obviously there's going to be water dripping from the bottle. So let's chuck in some water drips. Sound quite cool. Something like there. Okay. And let me bring it across a little bit more. So we need to start up there ish. Okay. Lid on. Sounds like a superhero term. Um That's good. I and O for our cut. So there. Uh, we'll put it in the water one. That's okay. Yep. yep. Move it across just a little bit more. You good? So we need to go back to the uh, bag rummage sound. Um, let's go back to the edit. We're doing the audio too soon. Just look at anything we need to change.
think the edit's fine. Um, you know, we're not going to do a super tight edit today, but you know, it works. Normally what you do, obviously you do the edit and then do the audio afterwards, but I got a little too excited. Um, I've already edited this thing before, so. All the levels are obviously way off when it comes to the audio. You probably cut to a mid there, but I quite like the wide. Um, kind of looks like he's more in danger, I guess. I think maybe the end we'd need to change that last shot. Um, it'd be better if he walks out of the shop. Now, we do have that person in the background, but you could probably just ignore that. That's kind of annoying. So, we need to fix that last shot up, but all in all, let's just call the rest good, all right? Um, and let's just go back to our audio. So, what do we need? Let's just play it through. Make some mental notes. At the moment, we have no atmosphere whatsoever. So we need to build some atmosphere. So let's go back to Fairlight. And I have some free audio. Hopefully this is not too loud. I might just crank this down a bit. Okay, that's not playing anything for some reason. Um, um, um. I thought I had music. Here we go. I think I got this one off YouTube. Let me just turn it down a little bit, just in case it's super loud. <laughs> uh, I feel like this is a clip that is made up of like 10 different songs or something. Let's bring it in and have a look. That might work. Not that one. Nope. This one's not bad. This is like Stranger Things or something. something that's kind of subtle. Yeah. I'm not looking for some pumping tunes here. Maybe this, so. Now to do a cut, um, in Fairlight's a bit different than the edit page. You press Control B, so highlight your clip, and then wherever your little line is, you press Control B, it's gonna make that cut. So let's just bring this bad boy across. Let's go a bit wider. Uh, we'll put it right down the bottom, and we'll turn this to music. Let's have a look. Big problem, isn't it? Oop. 
So already that music is making a huge difference. Now let's add some more sounds in. I really, really like audio. Wish I was better at it. Um, also, just try and um, keep everything labeled. So this one here is water, but it's water drops. Um, footsteps, obviously, water, water, water. It's all good. Music. Now we'll make a new track where we need. Um, uh, let's say train. Yeah, let's go train. Now you might be saying, why are we going to do a train? Well, you will see in a second. Now I want the music to be at the bottom, so I'm going to add track. Actually, I don't know what this is, mono or stereo. Let's just track it down and we'll move it down track. So we we'll track down, that way our train goes above it. It's just easier for me, you don't have to do this, but I like things, I like the music always to be at the bottom. Not sure why. So when he's like looking, I reckon we could chuck the train in here. That's good. It builds the world. So it all may, uh, I'm trying to make it look like above him is train tracks. It is actually train tracks, by the way. So we'll call that good for now. Now, we can also put this in the background. So let's move this across and go to five. And then we want to... Get rid of this, this, why didn't I do that? There we go. This just makes it look like the train is more behind him or in the distance. Otherwise, it kind of sounds like the train is like on top of his head. So maybe we've gone a little too far. We're just getting rid of all the um, eyes here. If we turn this off. All we can do is press I, O, come up to here, press this little circle arrow. Then we're going to go to S for solo. Then we're going to press Alt and the, I think it's backspace or forward, you know, the line next to the question mark. Let me turn it off now. It kind of just feels like. Um, it doesn't feel like it's behind him. Now it feels like it's more of a part of the scene than being on top of the scene. Okay, cool. Now, what else we got here? Got some birds flapping in the distance. Just take this up solo. I think we can get a better POV shot. Uh, I have a better one where there's like birds flying around or something. Yeah. Then we can add bird sounds. This bird coming out is pretty cool. So 
here and here. Go back one. So here. Now we only have this section. We don't need this. We don't need the index. Cool. So now we're going to put a clip on top of this clip. So let's find the spot we want. Yeah. Yeah. So I've made an in point here and drag it across. I'm going to go to overwrite. Oh, I guess that clip's not long enough. It's annoying. Oh, this is a better shot. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Nice little bit of movement there. Uh, that was definitely not on purpose. I'll make it a little bit longer. Yeah, not bad. So let's go back to Fairlight. It really annoys me when it does that. And let's go to Birds. Good. I need that bird flying around. Get rid of this. Taking up too much space, bro. Cool. So we'll chuck this in. We're going to put in the water drops. Oh, actually, we'll put it down here. Move it across. Whoops. Cool. Same with the train. Um, Feels like the birds are sitting on top of his head. So we're going to copy this. So copy. Get rid of this. And then let's go to our birds track. So we'll call it birds. Oh, like the film. So in our birds track, when you highlight this, I'm like putting the screen for. When you highlight this, you highlight it in your uh, fairlight, as in like I highlight this track. And then highlights in the mixer. Let's go to EQ. And these three little dots, click paste. And let's get rid of this. See what this sounds like. Maybe we're taking too much of that. Um, Top uh, the higher parts. Let's bring it back a little bit, maybe. Let's try that. That's okay. Music's working really well. Have a bit of a look. Uh, we need writing, writing sound. Closing of the book, shuffling of papers. Noise. Let's make this even more crazy. And let's do 
a siren. <laughs> That's too much. And that's kind of cool. So I reckon what we can do is, um, when he's doing the water thing, puts it on, shuffles it back. We'll say that when he starts riding, we hear a siren. Okay, so we'll just chuck this in. Yeah, because he looks, right? I think when there is a good spot. I'm just going to ring that back. Does it almost be, uh, it's almost like he's being caught out. And we'll chuck some uh, police sirens in. And then what we'll do is we'll make the police sirens come from the left, go to the right. So once he looks around again, that will be like the right-hand side. So let's say about here. And we'll fade them in a little bit. A bit longer. Um, um, um. So let's go back to the edit page. We're in track eight. Let's bring up our inspector. So we're going to pan it left to right. So let's go from here. Police siren. Um, let's make a little point here. So at the moment, we're all the way to the left. And then we get to, let's say, here we want to be like, it's going over his head. So we'll go here. What does that look like? Yep, not bad. Let's go back to our Fairlight page and let's just Focus. Uh, let's find our car, which is yeah. And again, paste. Uh, let's go back. Let's do it. This one. Not bad. It's kind of like, um, it sort of gives that tension, you know, like he needs to get out of there. We will fix that shut up with the person running in the background.
Okay, cool. So let's just go through and uh, get some things we need. We need writing, so let's just do that. Let's see, I think we're typing paper. This is what I mean with um, sound library. You just, it's kind of tricky. If I were to write in writing, most of this wouldn't come up. So if you kind of just type in paper. Oh, sorry about that. That's cool. Uh, let's make this quiet. Look, look, look. So that's writing here. Finish this here. Okay. So. We can start here. Bring this down. I didn't go down. Why not? And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to accentuate that noise just so it's easier for me. To do. Cool, cool, cool. So let's go back. I have the worst posture. There looks like a good point to chop that up. Yeah, it needs to start a little bit sooner. Oh, there's like um, a little tap. There. So let's go back. So it's like. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it's fine. Um, paper movement. It's just, I feel like, um, we just need a little bit of audio when he gets the book out. So, here-ish, you know, because like the book kind of opens, right? So, let's just put this in, see what it sounds like. Yeah, kind of works. Okay, so the M1 doesn't work, but the first two work quite nicely. Mm. Kind of need a sound when I already have that sound. I don't think we need this one, um, because we just need the sound of him opening the book. Yeah. Yep. So we can just do this, and then this is a good sound when the book comes out. So as you can see, when he's pulling out a little uh, the book, yeah, that's it. Oh, so the uh, playback. 
Close book. So. Writing in no. Oh, ingressed Hmm. Yeah, that's a good set. Compared to, um... Yeah, that's okay. I mean, it probably sounds a bit better. Yeah, should check. We'll see which one works better. Oops. Or that's actually good. Sorry, buddy. Just didn't quite work out. Neither does my audio skills. Yeah, that's better. Then we need the page to close. Uh, uh, um. There's some child yelling outside my apartment. Maybe this point here. I don't know what that kid's doing. And then let's put this in. Oops. Yeah, it's very good spot. I can hear writing again, which is this one here. Okay, so let's just have a quick playback. I think that uh, paper movement thing or you know, him going in to the bag. I think that's on one track. This one here? I feel like, yeah, that's weird. Um, let's change this to mono. Yeah, I have no sound for my footsteps. Way. I was thinking about putting like gunshots in, but it's probably too much. All right, let's uh, fix this shot up, which is the white. That's the one we have, so we can do that one. Not that one. Oh, the problem is the book. Uh, 
Oh no. <laughs> Wait. Um, we don't have a shot of him uh, hanging onto the book. I guess he's going to have to use a person in the background. There are actually police sirens outside of my apartment right now, so. Fitting in with the mood. I mean, what we could do though, is he doesn't actually have to put the book down. So, um, we could kind of, when he closes it here, right? We could cut to a mid, then we'd cut to the close up. Okay, so. Um, unless I do this stupid thing the whole time. No, I don't think so. Yeah, okay. So this is what I mean. So we'll go from like here. Where should we cut? Let's say here. It's going to put it in timeline. Any problem is it's like um, needs to obviously that is as much as we want. Maybe we got a better mid. Uh, I want these hoodies up. Is that reason? That's probably the best one. Oh, actually, I mean this one. Let's just see how long it's going. Let's do it like here. -ish. So. Really work, does it? Because I like the wide. I think what we can do is here is the point where we want to stop. Look at this gap. What's going on? We can sort of fade out. And they sort of like play out the, the music and the audio. Cool. Now I'll just make this a bit smaller. Um, put this up here more. Okay. So we have the audio at a really rough stage. We have an edit, kind of a rough stage. Um, like we've built a little bit of atmosphere. Train's good. I feel like that sound is actually um um too late. You know what I mean? It needs to be more yeah, like there's more here. Let's see more here. Ah, too much. Oops, I just put in a clip. Mm. What jobs can be like a little bit louder, maybe?
Yeah, so we're just gonna have a quick break because I need to check something. So I'm back <laughs> when I made a coffee um, and hung out some washing. You probably didn't notice that because I'm such an amazing editor. Alrighty, let's go and have a look. I've completely forgot where we were at. Um, okay, scribble, 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 water, water. I think we need some like glass movement sound here. Let's go to Fairlight. I don't know what that sound is. I have no idea what's going on, but it sounds like my neighbor is on the roof or something. Weird, weird place I live. So I reckon we need some more rummaging sounds. We have no rummaging sounds? What is going on? Oh, it appears we've lost our Rummaging sounds. Uh, what? Oh, I guess it's here. That's okay. Because you kind of need the sound like, you know, like uh, there's glass in the bag. Uh, you can just chuck it in here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Probably not, but I don't know what is going on. Yeah, so that kind of works. Like here -ish. Yeah. Oh, man, I love coffee. I think that sound of him closing the book actually happens too late. Uh, coming too early. There's so many noises outside of my apartment. Not the biggest fan of where I live, uh, but that's okay. But so let's just start making some of these noises a bit quieter. Doesn't seem to have any sound for some reason. Oh, what's going on there? That's not good. Probably make the train a little bit more quiet. All this stuff, um, we need to make it a little bit quieter also. This is the problem if you just put everything on one track, which I've got a bit lazy and done, is that normally what you could do is you go to your mixer and then you would just turn that track down. Um, but because I've put it on my footsteps track, I actually need to just go to this individual track here and then bring it down. So. I think it just needs to be slightly quieter. Yeah. That's 
it's a little loud. I don't mind it that it's super loud. You know, fine. Obviously, that's a little loud. Is that music too loud? I feel like we could just put that music down slightly. What is that music? Track six. So we want this one to be. Uh, yeah. Put this bad boy last. Yeah, that's better. Obviously, that scribbling is way too loud. What else are we going to bring it out a bit? Sometimes with audio, you don't need to be realistic. I mean, realistically, you're not really going to hear him writing, are you? So I'm just trying to just trying to get a level where we can slightly hear the writing and doesn't sound crazy. That book is way off. I feel like we've lost audio somehow. Mm, I don't like that sound. To me, that sounds slightly better. Mm. And then we'll just bring it right down. And then we'll mute this for a second. Yeah, get rid of this garbage. Now we need to unmute that garbage. Of course. And when he puts the book back in, we need that bottle noise again. So let's just go up here and type in bottle. Um, um, um. Picking up champagne bottle. What did we have at the start that worked really well? I think it's glass, actually. Sorry. No one uses the same sound every time. We'll move to. I like that. Pretty good. Let's go back a little bit. Just give it a thing. Oops. <laughs> so, where are we? Where does this make sense? Yes, there's something like here. Not amazing, but um, you know, just what it is. As the cool kids say, actually, no one says that. So you know, here's. Now we need some uh, clothes. 
as in closed movement, not closed. Yeah, we don't have anything. That's annoying. This is what I mean, like, um, You know, we need like closed movement and um Oh, you have to have in cloth. Like if you miss a few letters it doesn't come up. Oh general mop movement? Hmm. I don't really have anything that's amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try this, this, right? See if this will work. Cool. Mm. I just need to fade out. Uh, to make it fade out, all you need to do is just bring it down so you can see more of the clip. And I come up with these little handles, which, of course, you can add uh, a fade in and a fade out. Let's just look at this part here. That's too loud. Right here. So let's bring it down a bit. Still too loud. But again, it doesn't have to be super realistic. Oh, we need sound of uh, the bag going in. What is going on there? Very strange. I feel like we've lost some audio, but how that would happen, I probably haven't. If I'm just haven't put it in, because I'm lazy. Okay. This is Chuck. This in? Basically there. As you can see, sort of um I think like it works at the start. It works quite well. Make it a little quieter. Yeah. Not bad. Let's add some more atmosphere. Let's do my favorite thing. Wind. So, what do we got? You know what we need? We need ambience. Um, yeah. So, we need like... Um, I'll just type in ambience. 
Here we go. Whispering? Ahaha, ah, ah, the person in that message. This is fun. Put this here. Add drop mono. Put it here. It's a bit better. I don't know if that should be louder, the uh, running. Where's that cop car? That cop car disappear? Oh my god. Yes. Alright, for some reason our cop car decided to go away. Let's just add that in real quick. Oh, no, here it is. Oh, it's uh, no, wait, that's not right. It went on top of the music, that's why. Oh, what the, what is going on? Here? Oh, okay. So, for some reason, it went on top of our uh, creepy music. It's no good. So, I should start before the siren. Okay, I can just sit around here. Go to the edit and do this. I find it easier to do it in the edit for some reason. Again, we're going to start on the left. I am um, first is decide to be crazy. And then we'll just say like, yeah. Oh, wait, we didn't do um, a little point. As you can see by our pan, it is working. Cool. Then we need to make this. Um, that EQ. I've gotten really lazy with this uh, listing. I know. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe just ignore. After things I've been doing. Ah, we didn't copy across. That's okay. We can just do this. Where are we? Please. Right here. Okay. Paste. See what this sounds like. Okay. Okay. So obviously it sounds god awful. Too loud. Oops.
Doesn't sound amazing, that is for sure. But, you know. What are you going to do? Alright, let's just watch it back. See how we got. See what we got. How we got. The uh, mask is only breathing on one side. That is very strange. So we're going to change that to mono. See what it sounds like. That's better. I like the sound of the mask, so I think I'm just going to let it play throughout. Uh, the water, we could fix that up real quick. It kind of just shuts off. Yeah, that looks better. A little bit louder too. Just a tiny bit. Someone's smashing bins outside my house. Not bad. <laughs> I feel like the lid going on the bottle is probably the best mix sound. Not bad. Not amazing. Um, we could probably do some more adjustments. Sound feels a little sparse. So we could probably do a little bit more with that. It has black screen. That's boring. Um, yeah. I think the edit is okay. I don't think it's amazing. We could probably do some other things. But for our first rough cut, I feel like we've reached the stage. For the next step, we'd probably do is just do some finer tuning. If I was going to enter a... Actually, I have a short film in a film festival at the moment. My housemate... Not my housemate. My neighbour is on the roof. They're very strange people. Um. Anyway, so I think we're just going to call it for now. We could do more, but... um. I think we'll just call it. Uh. Yeah. I feel like we just need some more audio. I'd have to track some more audio down. Things like that. Just sort of tighten everything up. You don't want to see me just you know, recording audio or doing that type of stuff. Not boring. So anyway, um, that's going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this very long video. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I have some more footage that we can do, some more interesting stuff. This is probably one of the best ones I've done. But we can always do better as filmmakers, etc., etc. So thanks again for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed me editing while I'm pretty hungover. <laughs> and uh, have a great day.